Okay, so I'm back. The eyes are done. Um, I applied a little bit of mascara um, just to my top lash line. Now I'm going to do the lips. The lips are traditionally, from pictures I've seen anyways, are red. And they aren't, um, they don't extend the whole length of the woman's mouth, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to shape it so that it's smaller. Making my mouth look smaller. And because it's whited out, it's going to look like my mouth actually is smaller. So I'm just going to grab my mirror. And I'm going to draw with a red lip liner. This is Plush Red from NYX. It's long lip, long lip pencil. And also, um, the Cupid's bow is quite accentuated in a lot of the pictures I saw. And you're just going to fill your lips in. I made mine a little bit bigger because I do have kind of big lips and it would have looked weird. It would have looked really pouty if I hadn't. Um, but I'm not going for that kind of look. So I'm just going to fill in with the lip pencil. I kind of filled them in but it's a kind of a pink color because the red lip liner mixed with the white on my lips. Now I'm just going to take a lip brush and I'm going to fill in the lip liner area with a red lipstick. This is Retro Red from NYC. This is like $2 at the drugstore. It's one of my favorite red lipsticks to be honest with you. And you want it to be a really true red. I'm going to just take the tube because it keeps on turning out pink, so... Okay, so those are my geisha lips. Um, as I said before, my lips are kind of large, so my geisha lips are also kind of large. It would have looked weird if I made really, really small lips on myself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this NYX pencil again and just go around, make sure that everything's really uniform, and make sure that the outer edge of my lips is actually still concealed with the white. I'm gonna go put on my wig and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have my wig on. Um, definitely made a difference in the whole look. Um, I also extended the face paint down my neck so it looked a little bit more realistic. Um, basically, w when I went to the Halloween store, they didn't have any actual geisha wigs. And so I just bought a plain black, really, really long wig. And um, I just bought it because it was the cheapest. I didn't realize that 32 inches long is like really long so um, it basically was like an Elvira wig and I looked ridiculous um, but I just basically took it all in a ponytail at the nape of my neck up I put my hair up in a bun took all of the wig hair once I put the wig on and then um, in a ponytail at the nape of my neck twisted it and then just kind of curled it up into this updo type thing and then I just put a little flower right here so I hope it looks kind of realistic um, yeah, this is a really easy costume idea for if you aren't sure what to do for Halloween. Although, 
to find a kimono might be a little bit more difficult, but I saw them at this store that I was shopping for the wig for, so shouldn't be too hard. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty easy, you know, you just gotta paint your face white and put a little bit of extra makeup on, but other than that, not too hard. But yeah, I hope you thought it was fun, and if you are, you know, in a rut about what to be for Halloween, definitely consider this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I have a couple of more Halloween looks planned, so check those out if um, you see them, or keep watching, or keep tuned into my channel if you want to see more. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're interested. Have a really great day, guys. Bye.